<sighs> what a great day to walk out here to this brand new first gen. God, it's just looking so good. Unfortunately, it's not running so good. Well, I mean, it, it might run good if, if I could get it started, but I can't. For some reason, when I try to crank it, it does nothing. It doesn't seem like a battery thing because it does literally nothing. It did this last night, so it's not like it sat overnight with something on. I don't know, let me go see if the headlights turn on. Maybe it is a battery thing, but I don't think it's a battery thing. I think it's I think it's like a wire somewhere it is not connected. Yeah, we got headlights on. Okay, I went ahead and hooked a jumper box to it just to make sure that that's not my issue. I'm pretty sure that's not my issue. Nah. I have another idea. The cool thing about manual transmissions is you can push start them. And I parked this thing on a hill, so I think I can push it backwards. Well, I, hopefully it'll just roll backwards. I don't have to like push it and then try to jump in a rolling truck. So roll it backwards, take the brake off, it'll start rolling backwards, dump the clutch in reverse, push start that engine. Wish me luck. Parking brakes off. Gotta make sure I'm in that second, that's fourth. That's reverse, maybe? I'm not used to this gearbox. I'm trying to figure her out here. Yep, definitely reverse. Key is on. All right, here we go. We are rolling. Oh, come on, we need to go faster than that. Oh yeah, this'll work. This'll work. <laughs> we got her, okay? I have a running truck. Just can't let it die. Cannot stall this thing out of the road anywhere. Okay, sweet. Woohoohoo! Yeah, buddy. I parked in the shade at my house and I was just messing with stuff because I haven't really messed with this truck a lot. The air conditioner works. I just assumed it didn't. I didn't even ask the guy. I was just like, just assumed this 30 year old truck that looks like this would not have a working AC. I got cold, well, cool, I have cool air blowing on me. It's not like cold. But I just figured I'd be using these little triangle windows over here. But now I got air conditioning. This is, is a radio work? There's no antenna, so it's not picking up any radio stations. But if I had a cassette tape, we could really get to rocking out in this thing, I bet. So I was planning on taking this thing over to my buddy's shop, Holden Bros Diesel, anyway, for them to just give the truck a good once over, since I don't know a ton about this truck and want a professional's eye on it. But now that it's not starting, it's even more urgent that I'm like, you know, it's good to, good to go ahead and take it over and be like, hey, by the way, Make it turn on, that, that would be ideal. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to always park on inclines that I can like roll down and dump the clutch and push start it every time. I would like to be able to park on flat ground, ideally, and turn the truck off and not worry. I'm also very worried because I'm in like traffic right now and I'm not used to this clutch. And if I stall this thing, I'm screwed. Like I can't push start this thing by myself, it's a big truck. But it's actually, ugh, I don't wanna say it, knock on wood, it seems like with all the momentum of that big engine turning, it would not be super easy to stall this thing. All right, wish me luck, I'm going. After further inspection, the air conditioner does not work. Yeah, it was, it's, it was blowing hot air out. So I think uh, I think it must've just been cool air that I was sitting in a hot truck and that somehow it was blowing cool air that was stuck in it from this morning, I don't know. No AC, I don't have an air conditioned first gen. Bummer. Oh yeah. They got Dodges, they got first gens. I mean, this thing is, this is just right at home here. Hopefully they can figure it out and uh, you know, it'll start up. Leaving her sitting right there. They're gonna get to her and try to get her started. Try to figure out what the big vibration is and then just look it over, see what they think it needs, that kind of thing, before I take it back home and make a work truck out of it. But today, I haven't told you guys, we're heading back up to Bunker Branding to have a Bunker Branding field day. Giddy up. Up here at Bunker now. Um, we are having a field day just to kind of have fun with all of our employees. It's actually Veterans Day today too, so we're kind of taking a little half vacation, so they still have to be at work, but it's a fun day. They're getting paid to be here and have fun, and we have prizes and stuff. So we're gonna have a little competition. We split up into groups of like 10, and so there's four teams, and we're gonna be doing a series of competitions to try to win prizes. So. I'm gonna be with my team trying to win. It's, the prizes aren't very good for me. The prizes are like, you get to go home early and the bunker buys you lunch. So the prize for me would be that I get to buy myself lunch. But I'm gonna win. I'm not here for prizes. I'm here for glory. Hey. Hey. Nice bandana. Thanks. The first competition is, y'all are making someone print a shirt. 
We just tricked everyone. We're like, hey, here guys, if you print a shirt super fast, you win. This wasn't my idea. Yeah, but so the first team's going down there. They're all getting set up. Uh, it's a team thing, so everyone has to go around and do a certain job. So Mare and I are not on the same team, so we're actually competing today. And I'm gonna whoop her, that's for sure. They start over there. So he just called out large. He has to go pick a large blank, run it to this guy who prints it, runs it over here to this person who puts it through the dryer, catches it, runs it over there, packs it. So he's folding right now, or he's, he's about to print it right now. All right, now that it's printed, they bag it, seal it. Come on, let's go! And then they run it over there where they pack it up, throw it in a box, and then the timer is stopped. Actually, no, I think they have to put it, you gotta get another to shirt too. Shirt, yeah. They're doing a second shirt that's already printed, also in there, and then they take it over to that trash can by the door, and then the timer stopped. There it is. Woo! Oh, you missed! Get it in there! <laughs> Good luck. You're gonna need it. Mare's up now. Mare looks ready to rumble. <laughs> the fumble. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh Clint. <laughs> no, that's that's totally missed filming Meredith. She just grabbed it, ran over there. They're packing it, grabbing another shirt, and then they're running for the trash can. Mayor's job is done, though. You missed it. Where are they? Oh, with the pass. <laughs> I'm up now. Any tips? I'm gonna do the same job you just did. I don't think so. Be slower than me. No, no deal. Okay, he totally adjusted the squeegee. So, so did you, Clay. I really did. Watch this. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I think they messed up their shirt and the dryer, and it got stuck. It looks like you're adjusting something. <laughs> oh yeah, that is cheating. The thing is falling out of it. <laughs> So far, we're in the lead because we, we took a few shortcuts uh, that got us ahead. But now the last team's gonna go and they're gonna take all the shortcuts, I bet. So they'll probably take the lead. We'll see. Last team coming in hot. They're going fast. They're going really fast. Oh, oh no. Slowing down, slowing down. Wes on the uh, press over here. Are they gonna throw it through the press like we did? Nope, they set it down. Big mistake. Big mistake. They're just having to wait so long here. This is a big mistake. All right, all right. What's the deal? Here they go. Here we go. Here they go. Can they hit the fold? Can they hit the fold? This is the only team we have to beat. And are they gonna run it or throw it? That's the real question. Oh, terrible, terrible fold. Terrible fold. <laughs> oh, she's running, she's running. I would've already had it. Oh, she slipped, she slipped, she down. <laughs> Hand off and there it is. All right, they beat us by one second. One second. We have more events though. The next one is this blow up obstacle course. It's for time, uh, and so it's a team event. So we each go together, at our times together. Whoever has the shortest time as a team wins this event. Wes was in first place by a lot. This is my warm up. He was in first place by like a second or two in front of everybody else. And I beat him by point 
three. Point oh eight. Point oh, wait, what? I got eleven three. Oh yeah, I beat, I beat him at point oh eight. <laughs> Barely beat him. New champ right here. Smoke this little guy. <laughs> Everybody gets two tries though, so Wes is gonna try to beat me now. All right, this guy. Whoa, he just flew. This guy's gonna be giving me some trouble for time here. What's he at? No way. She said 11.86. Oh wait, on this side. Yeah. You're saying he... 10.8. He did a 10.8? Yeah. 10 8. What? Oh, he's a second faster. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Gotta turn it up. I'm, you know, I'm not running with the GoPro this time. That was slowing me down. It's my last try. I'm actually, I moved down to third place. Two guys, Wes and one other guy, have beat me. So, gotta take back the crown. I have no ah! Oh my god! Done! I closed line myself at the very start. I've messed up everything. I messed up. The net grabbed me in the face. But now, snow cones. <laughs> we got a snow cone truck here. After the first two events, there are three teams, we're one of them, tied for first place overall and one team is in fourth <laughs> so we have two more events left the next up is the egg toss you going first yeah so you're really close i'm gonna film you messing it up on the very first throw okay you got this all right oh that was sketchy <laughs> the rankings we are team three we are currently tied for second first place tied for second fourth place we have to win this to win everything this is our last event sack race it's my time to shine I'm, I was born to do this oh my god come on Kylie go Brady big jump big jump <laughs> <laughs> and I'm team three and we ended up in third place. Hey, who won? Hey, who didn't even participate in half the events? This girl. That's not true. Well, in the last event. Listen, all I'm saying is you had people carrying you. We had to pick our top five. Yeah. That uh, wasn't me. <laughs> and the losing team has to go in the dunk booth and that's our CEO, our chief executive officer, climbing into the dunk booth right now in his Daisy Dukes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, who gets to throw at you first? I don't know. Probably Mayor. Probably Mayor. If you knock him in here with one shot, that'd be great. I bet you missed the whole tarp, though. I bet I did, too. She has to hit that little circle right there. Oh, that was close. That was not so close. She's scooting up. <laughs> That's pretty far. Oh, that was close. That was not. What the? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're about to get fired. Stephanie, you suck. Stephanie's out. Wow. You throw like a baby. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you scared him. Higher, get it up. Higher, higher. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that's cold. Oh, you guys like the best. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, they made me do it. <laughs> and that is the end of old Bunker Branding Field Day. I want to say thank you to all of you guys who have supported us with this whole business uh, from the very beginning when it was in my garage. And a big thanks to all of our employees who are working here. We couldn't do this without you guys. We couldn't do this without all these great people here. 
it's been super fun for us to kind of learn how to do a business like this and grow it and just be a part of it and be a family with all these people. We've just really enjoyed it. It's been super cool. Thank you to Militia for being you and it's one great Bunker Field Day. Hey, did you know that my new truck is already broken? It is. Yeah, it doesn't run. Yay. What? Huh. How dare you? Huh. Uh, not my favorite kid. She used to be my favorite kid. Not my favorite anymore. Oh, hey. Hi. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. What did I say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get some lights to put on this big truck, to put on Abel. I want Abel to be lit up. And I want to get some nice ones. I want him to, you know, have some good quality lights on it. And then I want to get some lights for the new one as well, for old Chief. But... I don't really want to spend like money on nice ones. That truck's just a beater truck and we're gonna treat it like an old work truck. And so I was thinking about just buying like super cheap ones off Amazon or something. But I don't know, like is there, are there good cheap ones and bad cheap ones? So I'm kind of coming to you guys to let me know like what is like the best worst light? Like budget light bars, maybe light pods, that kind of thing that I can mount to Chief once we probably put a new wire on it and make the starter work again. Let me know, Demolitia. Comment below, I'll check them out. I'll be looking at your comments to see if we can find something to light up out there. And I think I am going to put that winch on Chief as well. I have a, let me see, where is it? I got a worn winch. Right here, I got a worn winch ready to go. I was gonna put it on Earl, but I think we're gonna put it on Chief for now so that that is gonna be a solid work truck. I need to go out and check and see if I can find me a big spare pump. And we're gonna have us a fire truck, guys, soon, very soon. And then I need to put like an ax on the side of it. What else do fire trucks have? It needs to just say like demolition ranch, fire rescue. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Off the Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. What camera is that number? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.